be Chris Mead, front row to your left. Morning, Jalen. Um, obviously, you were familiar with this place, especially with your brother being here. But when you went into the process of figuring out a transfer destination, what was it about FSU that set him apart from other candidates? Uh, what about FSU? Um, what set him apart from other candidates? Uh, I just say um, they had a great, great season last season. Um, but I just felt like it was the best fit for me, and uh, I also want to play here with my brother. And um, just what Coach Norvell got going on here. Coach Jack, man, is a great, tremendous running back room, man. Um, it's out there. Like, Florida State is the place to be in. Uh, I just love this place. Our next will be Essen, second row on your left. Yeah, um, what would it, what would it tell you where you're gonna, your role is going to be over here? you be, you know, running back, receiver, um, kick return, punt return. What were you sold on for you, what your role is going to be here? Uh, my role is going to be here. Um, it's probably going to be uh, running back. Um, I'm in a running back room right now, so. Um, I also want to be a huge contributor to the special teams. That's what I'm looking forward to. But just giving me an opportunity, uh, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity. And it is what it is. Okay, we'll come to Ira, second row on your right. Were you, were you watching Florida State? I know you were busy with your own season, but were you able to watch a lot of Florida State games, especially with Ja'Kai playing? And, and what was your thoughts about like, the offense? And did you see it as something you could play in? Of course, uh, I've seen Florida State every week, um, see how they would playing against different teams on um, a, a great season last season. But um, I know I always watch my brother, see what he's doing on the field. But I also evaluate how he can be used in the offense and just things like that. Um, All right, next will be third row on your left for Jordan. Jalen, you mentioned it a little bit already, but can you talk about what it means to you to play with your brother and how that also influenced your decision? Um, it means a lot to play with my brother, man. We, he was my high school quarterback. Uh, we had a lot of chemistry together. And, like, I just love the way that he just always give me a call. He wished that I was here playing with him. And now it's able to happen. Um, but I always wanted to play with my brother. That was my dream coming out of high school, was to play with my brother and see how the duo would be here. All right, we'll go back to front row on your left for Brenda. When you entered the transfer portal and you were able to, I guess Florida State became a reality to potentially play with Ja'Kai, I guess what were the conversations you guys had and what did he tell you about you know, his time at Florida State, the way the offense runs? Just what were conversations you have with Ja'Kai about Florida State? Hey, uh, the conversation with my brother uh, was like, you got to come in and put the work in. Um, it's, he told me about how tour duty is. Like, man, it's really a mental thing. Like, every little thing here matters. And, uh, I always wanted to be a part of something like that, like a, a great program, and it's it is what it, like what Florida State is. Like it takes a, it takes a lot out of you, and like you really gotta have a strong mental to be here. And, um, every little thing just matters. All right, front row on your right for Kurt and Jalen. Uh, you talked about special teams and your expected ability to contribute there. Obviously, that's something this this staff pays a lot of puts a lot of time into, pays a lot of attention to. I guess. What a, how many different ways do you think you can be impactful in special teams? And I guess, how, how nice is it to see a staff that, that cares about as much as you seem to? Um, special teams has always been a, a big factor. Uh, just part return, kick out return, that, that'll be a huge factor to just giving me the ball in space. But other than that, like, I, I don't, just don't feel like I'm a special teams guy. Uh, I feel like I can get the ball in any type of way. I don't care. Like you said, I'm a small back. Like, I'm going to show you. I'm on a, a bigger back level, so. Um. All right, next will be Matt, second row to your right. Uh, FSU had recruited you previously out of high school. How much did those relationships play into you coming here? Um, those relationships played heavy. Uh, I had a great relationship with Coach Narvell and Coach Jack. Uh, they always stayed the same, and like, he always just told me to be ready. Um, the opportunity came and I was ready. All right, we'll stay there for Ira. Along with your brother, I'm just Tom and Norwin, the Louisiana guys on this team and on this coaching staff. How nice is that? How how, how many of these guys did you know before? Oh, I know a lot of them. I know, uh, I know Greedy, I know Fat, man. It's a, it's a lot of guys on the team, and it just feels great to have some of those guys here. And, and it's basically like Louisiana was here, so we just building the culture and bringing it here and just making the team better. We'll go back to Essen, second row on your left. 
I know it's very early and you guys haven't like taken the field as a practice practice room, but how does it, do you think the running back room complements each other right now? Man, the running back room complements each other like each and every day. Like we understand it's a brotherhood, but at the end of the day, it's gonna come to a competition. But man, we all got love for each other, man. And like we got guys in the room. We got Rodell, we got LT, we got Kaiser, man, we got guys that can go. Go back to Brendan, front row on your left. From a skill set perspective, both at running back, returner, wherever you're gonna line up, I guess what are things that you feel like you bring to the table that make you unique? And, and then secondly, like what are some skills that you're trying to, to build on, work on during your time here? Things that make me unique, uh, I think I got great speed, great change of direction, but uh, there's also some things that I need to work on. Like each and every day, I kind of like, I think I need to work on pass protection. That's kind of a, a bad side to just being a small back, but I feel like I still got the fight in me to pick up a Mike linebacker, um, any type of linebacker, really. But it just all come with repping and just getting better at it. We'll come back to Ira, second row on your right. Uh, on some of these returns, we, we've watched them on, on videotapes. Um, what's that feel like, man? And when do you know? Do you know, like, I'm gone like, pretty early in the return? Or what's that yeah, like? I know pretty early in the return when I'm going on. Is it a big hole? Just hit it, stay true to the gap, and just, just speed from there. As long as I'm back right. Just being part of a program who has a, a legitimate chance of winning a national championship, it, is that a different sort of challenge for you? How exciting is that? Man, that's very exciting coming from uh, not to say a bad program, but um, just coming to a winning program and seeing a program that's on the rise. I feel like this year, man, we got the athletes to go and compete out there with some of the best colleges out there, um, but it's going to take a lot out of you just to come and compete every day. Like, Coach Narvell always teaches, like, you always got to get 1% better each and every day, and, like, it's always a, a little thing that matters in life, and um, he always tell everybody the, the, the same the same thing, like, just continue to get better. Okay, we'll come back to Ira. Uh, I've got two questions. Are there any running backs that, like, growing up or, or even now that you look at and say that, like, you identify with that you, you have a similar skill set? Uh, uh, running back, I look at I look at Darren Sproles. I also look at Tyreek Hill. Um, I look at it, – it's tons of running backs out there. Like, it's everybody. Like, everybody good now. And then uh, I know tour duty can be tough for a lot of guys. You're a guy that obviously can probably run for days, but – is it even challenging for a guy like you? Uh, to, some days, some days you feel like, man, I gotta go do this again. But it's just football, you know. Wake up, it's just something that you gotta do. <laughs> go back to Aslan. When you interact with the coach as a recruit, sometimes they can be a little bit different than when they're your coach as an actual player when you enroll. How cool, I guess, is it that Coach Norville seems to be a pretty consistent guy? The way he recruits you is the way that he actually is when you show up on campus. Man, well, I just say, like, it's nobody energy compared to Coach Norville energy. Like, he, he never going to change it. You can, you never can tell if he having a bad day, but he always staying positive, and everything he said is true. He just wants you to be you, and it's going to work out fine. Jalen, kind of along those lines, you mentioned you'll be part of a running back room. Can you also talk about your relationship with Coach Yak and how that's going these past couple of months? Um, my relationship with Coach Yak, um, he just, it's, it's great, obviously, um, but he just always tell me, man, like, it's going to take a lot out of you, and you just got to come in with your A game. Like he said, like he was on the road, he kind of, he said he's recruiting guys better than us, so like, it just makes you just want to go harder. So I just feel like, man, Coach Jack is a, a great, great, great coach. Like, he got the proof in the pudding. Like, he got running backs in his room that had great numbers. Like, Trey Benson, uh, Kenneth Gainwell. Like, his resume is official. Like, it's real. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.